sorry for the noise. They are mowing my lawn. Anyway, this reading, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Today is the waxing gibbous moon, but this reading is for Aquarius for the full moon. Full moon is coming in August 1st. August comes in with a bang, Aquarius. A lot is going on in August. A lot of energy. Well, of course it has a full moon, which is the time of release. You know, letting go of things that no longer serve us. Shadow stuff. Uh, working on ourselves. Um, changing our situation. You know, realizing what we have control over and what we have no control over. And letting go of things that we have no control over. Okay? Surrendering, Spirit is saying too. Okay. And also... Um, then after the full moon and coupled with that energy is 8-8 which is the Lion Gates portal it's an annual portal that comes it's the prime time for manifestation that's what I'm told that is the time that all of your mindset should be focused on what it is you want to become a reality in your world this is very important uh, Aquarius, especially after the full moon and you've had some time to release. Okay, Spirit is saying, stop running your mouth, Moody. Get some cards on the table. So give me a moment. Thank you for stopping by. And Aquarius, if you hear something that you can resonate with, leave me a comment, of course, and um, hit the notification bell. Um, subscribe. Share the video if you think it'll help somebody. Okay. Bottom card. Spirit. Okay, Spirit. Aquarius. These are your cards. Past, current, future. Okay. Oof. Spirit. Aquarius. Holy guides. Holy guides. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Angel guys, spirit guys, what is the full moon message for Aquarius August full moon? You know, that's called the sturgeon moon. Um, about fish. A sturgeon is a fish. You may have a choice. Um, the full moon. A lot is coming to mind. Remember when I said there's a lot of energy. I feel a lot is going on with you, Scorpio. I do, I do. Um, so much so, it's like you're feeling a little overwhelmed, some anxiety. You have a lot to do. Oh my goodness, a lot's going on. Getting the kids ready, you're worried about money. You have a lot going on. Oh. But you know, something has you like very... Feeling like you can't get out. It's like... Um, you're challenged. You're like overburdened. You know, I just feel like, oh God, please, you know, let this one sword come so this cycle can be over. That's what I feel. And you know, it is, it is. You're going through an ending right now. Um, you're like right on the precipice of an ending. It's coming. That's what this full moon is bringing, Aquarius. Oh, yes. And then look, the the sun appears. Leo energy, the sun appears. You know, just encouraging you, lifting you up after a negative go, after a lot of challenges, a lot to overcome, a lot of stuff. People cut you. Um, you know, people did not keep their promises. There are somebody, somebody's all in their head because they didn't keep a promise. I don't know whose energy this is, but this is anxiety, sadness, you know, uncertainty. Oh my God, the epitome of stress. This will kill you, all of this. It's like you just find no relief, no relief. There's no relief here. And, um... Spirit, like, brings you out of that, right? 
this is past energy. You know, I don't know where you are in this reading, but this is past energy. Uh, you could be coming out of this. When the sun appears, everything's enlightened. It's like you see things that you couldn't see before, that may you may have been blind to. It's like you have a new perspective. You're enlightened. You see something, Aquarius. You know something now. Could have to do with a mother. Could have to do with um, female energy. Pisces, you know, that is also this sturgeon moon. Something with a fish. Um, something that was an illusion becomes... Oh, into reality. Something you didn't know, you now know. It's like you see it. Okay? Right. And... Yeah, this is all about clarity. The sword, Ace of Swords is at the center of your reading. A lot of swords this month. You know, when you think about what you've been through, now you almost see why you had to go through it. Yes, you see exactly why. You know, sometimes we can't get to the other side unless we experience certain things to get us there. No doubt this was hard, Aquarius. Very challenging. But this full moon gives you the opportunity to let go of these challenges, to see them in a different way, to realize that they were a lesson and now you extract extract the experience. You leave the negative and you extract the knowledge, the learning. Mm -hmm. Yes. For some of you, uh, there may have been something regarding love that you didn't see in the past, but it becomes very clear now. Um, you, It's a blessing that you're able to see it now. And you know something? You see how important a love is. Some of you see how important in love is. Somebody seeing that Aquarius is a very important love. Um, it's somebody, you know, the sun is about kids having fun too. Somebody that brings out the best in you. The sun is the best card in the deck. It's about receiving the best, getting the best, being around the best. The best is multiple people. You know, there's all, you don't get to be the best by yourself, right? So this is somebody who is your soulmate that challenges you, that clears your conscience. Ooh, that's right. That's right. Somebody sees that now. They're aware of it. But destiny is here. Destiny is here. It's Destiny is all about your wheel of fortune. It's also about karma. You know, with, with the nine of swords, the ten of swords, and then the wheel of fortune. That's somebody getting their karma. Maybe somebody who challenged others. Um, this is part of your karma. You are receiving karma for mm, abandoning someone, abandoning a situation. Mm. Doing something for money. There's a lot of things that can cause the Five of Pentacles. Causing financial hardship. Causing... <sighs> Somebody is getting their karma. Whoever hurt you, Aquarius, they're getting their karma. Whoever... <sighs> they see you in a different light, that's for sure. Yeah, you definitely have them at a crossroads. Somebody's at a crossroads. They don't quite know what to do. Tell me, spirit. What else? Okay, give me this back here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Tell me, let's clarify this. What is this nine of swords? For Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Energy. What does Aquarius need to release here? In this past energy, why is this here? Tell me, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. North, node, Aquarius. What, what is this? Okay, bottom card. 
Father of Wands. Now, the Father of Wands appearing as something I asked, what do you need to release? You know, he can also be uh, the wand, you know, uh, promiscuous, um, sexual, uh, fooling around with others, uh, opening up with others, controlling others sexually, uh, manipulating in a promiscuous way. That could be somebody sees now that that needs to come to an end with the world, uh, that they need to actually change from the inside out. Okay. Right. The Daughter of Swords appears because it's time to see things differently, to learn to do things a different way. When the Daughter of Swords appears, somebody's intent on doing something different, especially with the world. They know it's time to change. It's time to do something different. Mm -hmm. The Mother of Pentacles, right? This impacts your money. Uh, your stability, your foundation. Somebody could have to get a new job, a new house as a result of this. Mm. Yeah, the, a lot of challenges financially. A lot of challenges. That's what we saw, this betrayal. So, And this is future energy. Karma is coming. You know, a feeling of not being able to depend on this wishy-washy because this is a non-committing energy when it appears like this with the nine of swords and and it needs to be released when the father of wands appears you know that's the father of wands or the queen of wands and it's it right i just feel some they're out there this is somebody that's non-committal you know, they don't want to commit. They don't want um, any ties. They want to be able to go and come as they please. They have others, for sure. And and this needs to come to an end. Somebody's learning that. It impacts your money. Maybe you spend a lot of money entertaining all these other people. That's one thing. Some of you have children. Some of them have children with other people. Costly, right? Definitely interrupts your household, causes chaos in the household. Ten of Swords, yeah, just a lack of stability. Somebody could make money. This could be a Capricorn, Virgo, a Taurus, but they're not able to keep it because of their lifestyle. Okay, yes, change is here. The end is here. Okay, mm -hmm. what else, Spirit? Okay. Caught up in their head. They know what to do. Okay. The Eight of Swords reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to get out of the cage. They know they need to let this go. They want to get out of this mental prison. Somebody's in a mental prison for their whole persona. It's like, you know, they're very manipulative, dominating when it comes to sex, when it comes to being in control, it's like my way or the highway, like I rule, you know, like, mm, I, yes, and that's why somebody doesn't want to walk away. They don't necessarily want to release this lifestyle with the Eight of Cups reverse. This is a karmic soulmate, though. This lifestyle is a karmic lifestyle. You know, they're like, spirit is like, how long do you think you can do this? This has been enlightened to you that, because you're anxious. You're all caught up in your head. Maybe somebody found out somebody's pregnant again, another child, another baby's mama. You know, or some woman is saying, damn, I'm banged up again with another baby. This is like your fourth kid, different father. What? Yes, this stuff is serious. You know, we, we are not supposed to just be dropping our seed everywhere. That fact impacts your destiny. You know, where you're headed, how you're going to get there, your money, your pocketbook. Okay, what else? That's what's going on here. Leave me a comment. 
Yeah, this isn't about love at all. Yeah, this has something else going on here. Some manipulative, narcissistic, sexual connotation here. That's what I feel. <laughs> That's what I feel. And karma is here because, yes, you can't do what you want to do to everybody. You cannot just go around having sex with everybody and think there's no ramifications. Mm. Mm. An emotional roller coaster. Somebody's emotions are all in the air. That's why they can't sleep. They can't eat. They can't find peace. Oof. They want it so bad. They see the mess that they've caused Aquarius. Oh, shoot. What? The tower card feels. Wow. Mmm. But they're not willing to do anything about it. This blows up a relationship. Maybe they didn't want to leave and, you know, somebody's feeling like that currently. But in the future, if you don't, this is what's going to happen. And you know when the tower shows up, it's like... This mother of pentacles has no choice but to rebuild, to reestablish her, their foundation, their home, uh, their life. Tell me, spirit. Tell me for Aquarius. What's going on in love? Tell me what's, what's going on here. Yeah. Let's see. Let's tell Aquarius why they need to just let go. And move on. Mm -hmm. Turn that Eight of Cups upright. Yeah. Yeah, you bet your sweet Bibby. With the Mother of Swords reversed, things are not being seen clearly. Even after a tower, that's concerning. Yeah, somebody wants to continue with this energy. The Father of Wands, the promiscuity, doing everything and anything they want. You will not tie me down. I will not map my position. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. Nope. Mm. Yeah, this is all about you releasing this, though. They don't have to want to change. Because I don't really see that they do. They have the Mother of Swords reverse as the final card. All their energy here is a karma, a tower, unrequited love. Their emotions are upside down. They're unbalanced. They don't see things clearly. Their vision is hazy. So this is not somebody I see you with. Or this is not a successful state to be in. With all this energy, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's time for you to choose you. Maybe this is what you should be manifesting on 8-8, eight, eight, I love me. Because this is chaotic. Whatever this scene is, you need to remove yourself from it. Clearly, clearly, you're not getting the benefit of this here. And so you're not being valued in this, in this connection. Consider moving on. Yeah, 8-8 eight, eight portal should be all about movement. You... Looking like the king or queen of pentacles. Um, it's time to find a new place, a new job. It's time for movement. It's time to stabilize you and the kids. You know, also, um, school is starting. Mm -hmm. This is August. This is, you know, I was feeling a lot's going on. You've got a lot to focus on. But it should not be this connection. Mm. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Okay, what else do you want to say? What else do you want to say? Yeah, they're seeing somebody else. Well, we know that with the King of Wands energy. There's definitely, you know he got a chick on the side. Or you know she got it on the side, they say. You know, come on. Come on, baby. So this... Mm -mm. I don't see it going into the future. This is the most important card here. I love me, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is a dying situation. Um, and the conclusion is the connection is approaching a separation. And that's what's going on for the full moon in August. You're cleaning house and clearing your energy and choosing to just shed your love on your children, on you, and um, increasing. This will increase your value, your self-worth. Um, it's the right decision, okay? Release your anxiety. Come out of this feeling of entrapment. Some of you actually feel trapped, like you're, like there's no way out. You know, maybe your finances aren't right, or um, the situation isn't right. You know, it's never just like it's never a good time to have kids. I mean, you can't plot it. You just gotta jump off the ledge, right? This is one of those times. You you need to just choose you at all costs. Release this, let it die, and get ready for something new. Something new. You know, the world says the end is here, but it's also a successful new beginning starts. Any new beginning, it has the possibility of success. And that's what Spirit wants you to focus on under this portal. This portal is very important that you focus on what you want, which is a new start um, for you and the kids. Uh, I don't if you're male or female, it's still you or the kids. If you have kids, it doesn't matter because you're still gonna have to see that person when you go to pick up your kids, <laughs> right? That's right. You're still going to have to pay child support and school starting and all of that. Yeah, lots going on, but choose you. This 8A portal says to choose you. Let this go and move forward. Yeah, you know, this will allow you to, some of you, you're not only manifesting um, a new place to live, some peace out of entrapment. You're manifesting love, a new love, being with a connection that values you, that you're aligned with. Somebody you don't got to play games with anymore. Yes, that's what you're looking for. And also with the Wheel of Fortune here, it could be a Sag, could be a Scorpio, could be another air sign like you. But they're different because they their heart is open. They're vulnerable. You know, they welcome love. You know, they're open to meeting you. You two get together and things kind of evolve. You know, they evolve. And, and that's you. You're ruled by Uranus and you're evolving at this time. You're evol evolving. And and be patient with yourself. Be kind. But if you got to be anything, be you. Love you. Choose you. That's what I got for you, Aquarius. If you were able to resonate, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the video if you think it'll help somebody. And Aquarius, until the next moon phase, namaste.